Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to create a C and C++ project using Visual Studio 2022. So before proceeding further, I would request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon so that I can come up with some more interesting videos for you. Okay, and when I do so, you will get a notification. Now, uh, so if we uh, want to if you want to download uh, visual if you don't have visual studio 2022 then first you need to download it okay. and type this we don't download visual studio 2022 so it will take you to microsoft's website this okay so go here so here uh, you will get these three options so community edition is free so that you need uh, license if you don't have the license then go for the community edition and now you can see that it has downloaded the exe for me okay now you install it so once you install so go to so you will have this you can search for your you know visual studio 2022 and you can see that it comes up here so open it okay so now visual studio 2022 will open like this so then click on create a new project so you will find this kind of templates so click on this drop down and you can see different languages that are supported by visual by visual studio 2022 so if i click c++ here you can see there is no template okay so which means you need to install this c++ uh, templates okay so when you inst when uh, you installed visual studio 2022 community edition at the time uh, another tool gets installed that is visual studio installer okay so if you want to add or delete anything from your visual studio 2022 then you need to use this tool so uh, again go to your start uh, start prompt or type in your search bar and open this here you will see this kind of options because i have multiple uh, uh, versions like i have 2019 version also so it is also coming up here and this is for the build tools uh, don't worry about this but you focus on this one visual studio 2022 community edition okay click on modify in this window go down and you will see this option here desktop development with c++ check this ensure you have sufficient space uh, in your computer because it will take nearly 6 gb okay of space so it will include all the desktop all the features or everything all libraries that are needed to uh, to develop a desktop application using c++ so ensure you have sufficient space here so once you have clicked it this uh, particular uh, box now go and click on modify okay so once your installation is complete you will get a message like this so which means now everything is good so it is installed so you can install uh, you can close this all right so after you have installed visual studio 2022 and the c++ templates so what you can do is you can come back here and open visual studio 2022 uh, click on create a new project here you will find all these options because c++ is selected here if not select c++ here in this drop down select console app and then click on next so here give a name uh, for this demo i will give youtube demo uh, cpp okay click on create here you can see by default some code has been added and some there are some comments as well okay so this is the, so this is our entry point so if you are new to visual studio let me give you a brief introduction here so here on the right hand side you can see all the files okay that are part of your project uh, so here you can see all your like these libraries okay all these files are here inside the external dependencies inside the source files you have your this cpp file youtube demo cpp.cpp so this file is here inside this uh, similarly there is a menu here uh, like you can create a new project open an existing project close solution save all these things are here there is edit there is view so there is project here you can add items to your uh, project through this uh, menu item here 
you can also add items by directly right clicking and add and through here as well you can add okay so uh, these are about the files and then you have a error list here in the bottom if there are any errors those errors will come up here if there are any warnings click on this and you can see the warnings as well if you don't want to see the warnings just click it again and this will go away similarly there is a output here when we build or run whatever is happening so all those will be displayed here in the output window okay so that's how uh, uh, you know this is organized another thing is that when you run your project if, uh, if the console window may close there is an option which you need to uncheck to prevent it from closing so if you go to options debugging general go down here again you know tools options debugging and then general and here you have this okay this checkbox so uncheck it so that the console window doesn't close on its own so that's the only setting here now you can see here hello world you can modify this let's do that vs2022 c pp project okay now let's build this so i am now building it go to your output here you can see what is happening as i said so you can see this this should succeed so if you see any failures then you need to fix that and then again build it or run it so now since it is successful i will go here and run this now you can see this message here vh 2022 cpp project so press any key to close so just press it the press a key or use the close button in that uh, console window so now this is how you need to uh, create a c++ project using visual studio 2022 now let's go back and create a c project now for creating a c project you can use the same same thing whatever i did the only difference is that uh, instead of cpp you can add a uh, file with a c extension dot c okay you can also use cpp and write your code here so it will still work uh, but it will be difficult for you if you are working on a big project it will be difficult for you to differentiate right so it is better to uh, differentiate uh, using the dot co dot cpp okay now so in order to uh, do this in a more cleaner way let's close this solution and create a new project so now we are again back to the starting page so here create a new project and here you can again either create a console app or an empty project so let's go with a console app click on next and then here uh, c project okay you can type any name okay so i am for this demo i can i am just giving this name demo c project so create now again the project is created so what i want is i don't want this let me delete this and then again add new item so here uh, make it source dot c okay so let's do that now we are we have got a empty empty file here you have to add a library so has include dot h so int main printf and then welcome to vh2022 c project okay so that's the message we are putting in the output now let's run this so build has started and now this message is coming up here welcome to vh2022 c project okay let's close this 
in the output you can see whatever user studio is doing when it's running you can see all these dlls are getting loaded and you know all those things so uh, for debug purpose this is this can be used this information so that's how uh, you create a c plus plus project or a c project uh, using visual studio 2022 okay so if you have any uh, comments or uh, any questions you can write in the comment box uh, i will uh, and if you uh, like this video so please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you